I'd like to show you how you change the battery on this VFA quartz. The first step is pretty basic, and that is removing the spring bar. The neat thing about this watch, when you remove the spring bar, is you see these springs on both sides. That's six o'clock and 12 o'clock. To disassemble the top part of the case, you have to push those springs in. And I have a, this obviously isn't in very good condition, the crystal or the dial. It was my first uh, foray into VFAs. But despite the condition, I still like wearing it. And we're about to start. So you use, ideally, a piece of plastic. To remove the spring here and then you use a piece of plastic to remove the spring there boom now you've disassembled the watch this case was squeezing the crystal down and now we have the next step this is really not in good condition, so I'm going to clean it. So now that we have that, the next step is to remove the crystal. And you can see the crystal has a number of scratches, and as I said before, the dial has some damage. You're not getting new old stock parts for stuff like this, so it's the price you pay for buying old stuff. So you remove the crystal next, and this is how that looks. Oops. And the course is on the crystal. And here we have the naked dial. And then the next question is, how do you remove the crown? And if you look, you see at two o'clock, there's a button in there. And when you press it, the crown will come off. As you can see, someone else has already done that so you press down and there you go and the crown is removed now the next step is to remove the dial and the movement and the batteries are on the back side what i do is i put the crystal here Put the crystal back up like this. And then I flip it over. And now the crystal is going to be holding the movement in place. And here we go. Get appropriate screwdriver. Make sure it fits well into the screw. And you undo it. And you have to be super, super careful. If I remember correctly, you have to remove the screw. And you set it aside. And then you have to, if I recall correctly, loosen these but not too much otherwise it'll be a pain to put back and this allows you to remove the batteries like so camera is upside down so sorry if everything isn't visible batteries have long been dead but we got be and uh, 
her go any further, I just wanted to show some detail of the movement. This is an example of very early quartz. And you can see a lot of work went into this and it looks very different than contemporary quartz movements. This was a very high tech and expensive watch when it first came out. See it adjusted six positions and temperature. So here is the new battery. And it's being put back into the cap and they get installed upside down. And then you install it by gently lifting this and putting it back in here. Same thing with the second one. Install the plastic cap and you put this one back in here. And now you just reverse the process by tightening these up and inserting the small screw back in here. So here the batteries aren't fully installed, but if you flip this over, whoops, sorry about the orientation, it's still dead. The first time I did this, I got really scared and upset, but then it dawned on me, you need to reinsert the crown for it to start working. So at this stage, if you want, you can marvel at, whoa, marvel at the detail of the movement some more. And then we go back. So this is the back one piece case. So you'll be flipping it over again, but first you want to get an air blower. Well, actually, I'm going to pause here to clean the second gasket. Or, sorry, the only gasket. First, the procedure. So we take this case, the, rather the dial and the crystal. This upside down camera thing is really not working, sorry. And you reattach it. to the back of the case, being very careful to align the crystal gasket carefully. And here we go. I'm gonna blow the dust off of this dial. Shame about the damage. And now we're going to reinsert the crown. Like this, and then we get oops. and then we get a small screwdriver, and there we go. And once we reinserted the crown, we have a nice secondhand tick and that light, LED light, is glowing again. Now just be warned, it's not going to last a long time, maybe six months or so before it start, stops uh, beeping, blinking rather. And uh, use the air blower again. Use it on the back of the crystal too. And then we plop it back on. We make sure that everything, the gasket is sandwiched properly. Because that's the only protection from the outside world this watch has. And we reinsert the case. 
you align the case because it has an opening for the crown. And you place it down. Oops, I see what may be more dust. And there we go. And the last step is to reinsert the external case and get it past the spring bars. One of the springs, it's finally back in place. And the springs are holding it in. And here you go. The VFA is functioning again. And as I said before, the, God, the orientation is hard upside down. The uh, LED blinking light, in my experience, lasts about maybe three to six months, and then it gets so dim you can't see it. So it's hard to believe this was meant to be a battery life indicator. <sighs> These dials really are so beautiful. Shame this one has seen better days along with the crystal. But that was my uh, battery change video on the VFA. And uh, that's about it for this video. And as usual, thanks for watching.